Hey guys, this is Joshua Haney, and I'm a saxophonist, educator, and uh, clarinetist. That's right. I actually recently accepted a job at Heidelberg University in Tiffin, Ohio. It's a small liberal arts college, but it has a vibrant arts and music program that I'm really grateful to be a part of. At this college, believe it or not, I teach saxophone and clarinet. So I figured now would be a better time than any to start making content every once in a while, not just on saxophone, but also clarinet. So today we have something fun and we're gonna keep this a bit informal. I wanted to talk about two different clarinet mouthpieces that I don't really see discussed quite enough on the market today. Those two mouthpieces are the Selmer Paris Focus and Selmer Paris Concept mouthpieces for B-flat soprano clarinet. Now, I've really enjoyed these mouthpieces a lot and I think they're seriously underrated. Now, before we dive in, I just want to be totally transparent. Con Selmer sent me a number of these clarinet mouthpieces to review and to pick the best ones. However, they have not paid me to make this review and I'm still paying for these mouthpieces out of pocket. So just a bit of background, the Selmer Focus and the Selmer Concept are both very similar mouthpieces. They were designed by Christophe Grezes at Selmer Paris in consultation with Philippe Barot, who is a wonderful clarinetist and I believe the principal player with the Paris Philharmonic. If you've listened to Philippe Barot's sound, you would know he has a very radiant and bright tone that's capable of many different colors, and I think he was definitely pursuing creating that sound when making these mouthpieces. I've tried five of the Focus and five of the Concept mouthpieces. That's 10 in total. None of them were bad players. They all played very well, and most of them were very, very similar. So here's the mouthpieces themselves. They're pretty standard looking, nothing crazy. The only bit of bling on it is you see they have the name of the mouthpiece on the side itself. That one was the Focus, and here's the Concept you can see right there. The actual beak profile on these mouthpieces I find is a bit similar to the Van Doren Profile 88, meaning it's a more gradual taper with a very slight duck bill. I think that's pretty comfortable and preferred by most players given today's day and age. When you look on the box and read about the different specifications of these mouthpieces, they don't seem like anything special, or rather, nothing really makes them distinct. First, the facings are pretty standard. The Selmer Focus mouthpiece, this one right here, is a pretty medium small tip opening at 1.05 millimeters, which is preferred by players who like to use harder reeds. The concept, on the other hand, is slightly more open at 1.1 millimeters. So it'll let you use a slightly softer reed as well as give you a bit more flexibility when you're voicing or working with articulation. Both mouthpieces here have the same interior. The only difference is in the facing. However, I find that facing makes a pretty big difference in how it feels. The interior itself is actually pretty interesting. When you look inside, you can see that the mouthpiece does not have a smooth transition from the throat into the chamber, but rather has a step transition. If you look in there really carefully, you can actually see that step. I've also been told that these mouthpieces feature a slightly smaller bore than what you usually find from Selmer's previous mouthpieces, such as the C85 series or the Standard series. Because of that tighter bore, I actually found these mouthpieces to play towards the sharp side, around A442, unless you pull out slightly. When you look in here, you'll see that the chamber itself is trapezoidal in shape, and the sidewalls are pretty straight, and I'm not really noticing much of a baffle to speak of. You can see there's not really too much fanciness going on here. However, all of these standard features pretty normal facings, but with this interesting bore and step into the chamber, create a mouthpiece with a good resistance that still articulates very well. I can use a three or a three and a half reed, and they both still have clear articulation, even though you have a little bit of back pressure to shape the sound and ultimately feel a bit more comfortable. I wanted to compare these quickly for you. I am playing on a Selmer Présence clarinet in B flat, and I'm using the 65.5 millimeter barrel. I'm also playing with the Van Doren Optimum Ligature, the new one that just came out in the black finish. I don't think the finish makes any difference, but I think it looks pretty cool. And finally, the reeds themselves that I'm using this with are a Legere European Cut Strength 3 and a Van Doren V12 Strength 3. I find these reeds work a little bit better than something like a three and a half, especially on the concept. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So while I understand that clarinet is not my primary instrument, and you will find other players out there who are more virtuosic and just outright better than I am, as a teacher, I find the summer focus and summer concept mouthpieces to be really great. I'm glad that I can reliably tell my students to buy them and not have to worry if they're gonna get a good one or a bad one. I also like that they play well, both with softer reeds as well as when students build their embouchure or so prefer with harder reeds. And one of the most important things is I'm glad that they work well both with cane reeds as well as with legere synthetic reeds. Now, no bones about it, I think the cane reeds, especially when you have a good one, sound much better on this mouthpiece or clarinet in general. However, some mouthpieces out there really you just can't play with synthetic reeds. This summer does the job and is especially useful when I'm in a doubling or in a teaching studio situation and your reed is gonna try out. Intonation on these mouthpieces is really nothing extraordinary. I find that the usual notes on clarinet that play sharp do, and the usual notes that play flat do. It's up to you, the player, to make those changes work. This mouthpiece doesn't fix any of the usual problems, but it also doesn't add problems. And I personally like that it tunes a bit sharp. It gives me a bit more flexibility in my embouchure. Overall, I think these mouthpieces do what they say on the box. It creates a focused sound in the Focus model, while the Concept model is very similar to the Focus, but gives you just a little bit more if, for those who are looking for it. If you prefer mouthpieces that use harder reeds, or if you want something with a lot of control, get the Focus. Or if you want something that uses softer reeds and a bit more sound and flexibility at the expense of a bit of precision and control, then get the Concept. Overall, these mouthpieces are a good value. They're well made, they sound good, and I'm happy to recommend them to my students I suggest you check them out too. Anyway, this has been Joshua Haney with a clarinet video for once, and I'll see you in the next one.